I'm over halfway there, over halfway there, over halfway, okay, I'll stop. So in this update, I'm going to be updating for two weeks. The week of October 10th, I reached 16.6 .6 miles. The week of October 17th, I reached 15.2 miles for a total of 31.8 miles. I have officially reached 54.6 miles. Uh, this last week, I decided to go ahead and film as I was getting ready and as I was coming back. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and start on with that. I will tell you there are some pretty torturous wake-ups by Mauricio this week. Um, he, he has always tortured me awake. I don't love it, but it's funny. And so he got the camera and filmed. So let's get into them. It is 4.30 a.m. on Monday, October, I have to look at the calendar, 17th, and I am going to leave to go running right now. Yay! 4.30! If you're interested in the ongoing battle I have inside my brain every morning, every morning, it goes something like this. It's 4.15. I'm gonna just sleep today. No, I gotta get up. No, I need more sleep today. Oh, okay, I'm gonna get up. <sighs> yeah, every single day like that. It's really, really hard getting up this early, especially considering Mauricio and I don't usually go to bed until like 11. There's just always something going on. I'm gonna do it. And every day this week, I'm going to film before and after. I would film with you outside, but this is what you would get if I took you outside. That's my backyard. It's pitch black out. Clearly not going to take you with me because that would be about the most boring video ever. See you when I get back. 4.2 miles. It was an okay run. I do interval training using an app called running uh it's by red rock apps and it's a decent app uh i plan on doing a review of it at some point it gets me where i need to go but i do a combination of run walk sprint so my mile times are slower than they would be if i were just obviously jogging straight um my pace is usually pretty slow i jog between 10 and 11 minutes per mile so slow but um, my sprints are much faster and then obviously my walking much slower so I'll see y'all tomorrow morning gotta get in the shower it's time to go wake up soldier wakey wakey come on morning guys it is 5 15 I'm late I did not want to get up out of bed this morning, as you could see from the torturous wake up that I got from Mauricio. He likes to do that when um, when I'm not up by 4.30 like I'm supposed to be, and I think it was 4.45 when he woke me up, so I'm about 15 minutes behind, but I have a cushion built into my schedule in the morning, so if I wake up a little late, it's not that big of a deal. So I can still get my full run in. I'm ready to go. I have my running belt, my headphones, my knife, and my light all ready to go. I have about two more sips of coffee and then I'm out of here. So see you when I get back. I'm done. 4.23 miles today. I did not do interval training. I kind of just wanted to enjoy the run. So I um, just jogged straight at my turtle pace, which I'm totally okay with because I'm out there and that's awesome. 4.2 miles. Yay. It's Tuesday. So exciting. See you tomorrow. This alarm has been going off for the last half an hour. 
Boom. <laughs> Good morning. So, how was that for a jarring wake up this morning? Oh, I love my husband, but yeah, he loves to torture me. This morning, I am going to do. Um, I'm doing a plank challenge app also with my workout. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that this morning. I start. Whenever I sign up for an app, I always start on the lowest possible setting with any app that I try. And the reason for doing that is because you never know who created the app and what fitness level they expect you to have. So when I start a new app frequently, um, because I do work out ahead of the curve, but I figure, you know, the first few days are always easiest for the beginner beginners. So oh, today's challenge is easy a 15 second plank but it's only easy because I've been doing planks for a long long time <laughs> all easy done so all about you know a little resistance training to wake up your body a little bit talk to you later Bye. I'm back that was not the most stellar I'm not horrifically tired or anything like that, but I just wasn't into it. I just wasn't feeling it today. And honestly, I have an agreement with myself that when on the days when I'm just not into working out, I don't feel like it, I don't want to do it, I just do 10 minutes. I got in 3.3 miles. I say only that's 3.3 miles. I should be proud of that. 3.3 miles is 3.3 miles. And that's great. Getting out there when I don't want to get out there is hard, but honestly, I've committed to myself and I've been doing it since before I started, well, no, right around the same time I started this day frequency thing. Um, I committed to myself that I was going to exercise and on the days I didn't want to go, 10 minutes. If I, at 10 minutes, I still didn't feel like being out there, I could quit, go home. And you know, it's actually kept me really strong. I urge you to try and do the same. Commit to yourself that you will do 10 minutes. 10 minutes, nothing more. Good morning. Okay, so today was a complete and total disaster. I set my alarm clock, it went off, I hit snooze, it went off, I hit snooze. And apparently at some point I turned it off. Now. Gracie normally wakes me up when I do stuff like that, but for whatever reason this morning, he did not. And so, he woke me up right as he was leaving. And so I didn't have enough time to run. So, I got nada for today. So, add a big goose egg to my turtle for the week. And that means you're warm. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully, I get my butt out of bed tomorrow. holy. I am not feeling it this morning. But you know what? I'm starting to realize that there is not a single morning that goes by when I'm actually feeling it. What is up with that? I'm off. I'm back. I ran 3.5 miles. Well, ran a lot. It wasn't a stellar workout, but I got out there. I did 3.5 miles. And as I was coming back, I was like, oh, I only got three and a half miles only. What is wrong with me? Why am I thinking I only got three and a half miles? Three and a half miles is awesome and way more than I would have done this time last year. So, you know, three and a half miles is fantastic. And I should be proud of that and I should be celebrating that. So I'm changing my mindset about that. And it's Friday, and that means it's the end of the week. So I'm gonna tally up and see how I did. Oh, I get two days off. So excited. Yay. And, and as always, if you're new to my channel, click that subscribe button down below, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!